Hey, this is Dave Lynch again at HouseBurners.com. Today, we're going to show you how to stain a floor. Uh, we have two other videos that we've already done, and you can go reference on how to sand the floor with a drum sander and how to uh, sand the edges with an edger. Once you're at the point where we are now, there's uh, three simple prep steps. Uh, one is to try to remove any stains with a, a more direct sander. We're going to give this a shot. Uh, this The drum sander uh, didn't go, go down far enough on this, and we didn't want to carve a groove in the floor. So we're going to just uh, put a belt sander on this and our um, multi-tool and see if that does a better job. And then, uh, when we're all done with that, we sweep the floor. And once you're done sweeping the floor, then the last thing is to damp mop it. And that gets the, f the floor ready to receive the stain. And so those are all three real simple, uh, simple tasks. So let's get to it. All right, so that stain is still pretty pronounced. And uh, for whatever reason, this looks like it was a burn, but this looks like a stain, but it's deep. So we're gonna try a bell sander on it now, see if that does anything for us. Nope, I think we're leaving that. We're gonna leave that. We tried these two methods and it, this stain is pretty deep and rather than make a divot in the floor, we're just gonna live with it and carefully stain around it. Um, if, if it is something where you just can't abide by having something like that in your, in your floor, uh, you can try taking these three boards out and uh, they do sell uh, two and a quarter inch wide um, replacement oak that you could do and uh, that, was, that would solve the problem. But uh, for our purposes, this is a bedroom. It's gonna have something right here anyway, so we're moving on. We've just been applying the stain uh, bit by bit, and it's pretty easy. Um, you just put, a, put some on, dip your rag in the can, put it on, and then Flip the rag over and smooth out the uh, smooth, smooth out any lines or any heavy spots, and uh, it's remarkably easy. This is not a difficult task, and it actually goes pretty fast. We bought an applicator, uh, but that's probably better used if you're just doing one person. It's kind of like a sponge on a. On a, for a broomstick, but this this way of just applying with with rags is uh, relatively quick. I guess if you're doing a couple thousand square feet, maybe doing it with an applicator might work a little quicker and a little easier. But uh, for our purposes, we're doing about 300 square feet, and this whole process, start to finish, is probably going to take less than 40 minutes. Uh, after we get everything applied, we're basically working our way out of this area and it sets up in a couple hours, but we can't put the clear coat on for 24. Alright, so we're going to use this applicator to put our stain on. We found this, it's, a, it's called Nylofoam, and the premise of using this particular pad is that it's supposed to not leave any bubbles, so this is, you know, the final look, this is, even though this is clear, if it's in a big, uh, if it leaves a bunch of bubbles, then it's not going to look very good. So this is the... This is the pad that came with it, but we don't like this material. We don't think it's going to do well for this application because this is the this is the crystal clear polyurethane that we're going to be applying over our stained floor. All right, we're getting ready to, to put stain on the floor and. It's always nice to put some holes in the inside lip 
of your can before you pour it. And this will allow the stain or the paint, or in this case, the urethane finish, to drain back into the can. Because a problem that often happens is there's so much paint inside that inner lip that it prevents a good seal when you put the lid back on. So I just make it a habit of, of doing this. Wow, this is super watery. There you go. Time to start applying this to the floor. The word is, it looks terrible when it goes on, but it, it dries really nice and tight, so we'll see. Okay, so we're applying the polyurethane, and it's a little bit tricky because when you first put it on, it, it kind of is in a big glob, so you're not supposed to go over it a lot of times, so we're just going over it one more time just to make sure there's not like a big puddle of it sitting on there. And so it's leaving a little bit like a milky residue, but we're not supposed to panic about it. It's going to work its way into the stain. Well, there's something there on the floor right there. Well, oh, here, I'll get it. All right, so this is coat number three going on, no, three. and every coat looks better. And we're gonna do a total of four coats. All right, well, the great news is the floor project is finished, and we believe that they, they turned out really great. There's two tips I wanted to let you know about. One, when you're applying the clear urethane, it, it has kind of like a milky look to it, and you're going to be tempted to say, oh my gosh, that is, that's all messed up and I better go, you know, thin that out. But honestly, you don't need to just, um, as you're applying it, just apply it evenly and it'll take care of itself. This, this floor now has four coats on it and, um, you really don't want to skimp out on that. You'll probably be tempted to say, oh yeah, it only needs two, it only needs three, but we did four and it definitely was worth the time and the effort. All right, and so, uh, you know, here's our, our railings and they turned out wonderfully as well. Each time you put down one of these layers, one of these coats of the urethane, it's just going to look better than the last time. So the other issue is every time you, before you go to put down the new coat, you've got to vacuum again. You've got to sweep. You've got to make sure every single speck of dirt, dust, debris, is off of the off of the floor or whatever surface you're working on because just the smallest speck if you put the urethane over it it's going to get like you know baked into your floor so it's very important to keep all the the areas completely clean all right well this is definitely a project that you can do and if you do it yourself you're going to save a ton of money so uh, if you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button and maybe share it with a friend if somebody's going to have a project like this that they need to do. You're welcome to leave us a comment or a question and we'll reply to those as soon as we can. And we've got a lot of home improvement videos coming out soon, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the little notification bell so you can know when our new videos come out. So thanks very much for viewing. We'll see you next time.